I imagine Dolby had something to say about this. Who? Harry. Well, you know what a warrior he is. For the moment, we're keeping this strictly Section D. You can't seriously expect me to sanction a meeting with Mohammed Kordad. Not after the last few days. It's an opportunity we have to take. It's an opportunity for the PM to cut my bollocks off. Well, you can join the choir. He's already banging on about a catastrophic failure of intelligence. We neutralized three out of four bombs. And the government's grateful, but you know the policy. We do not negotiate with terrorists, ever. With all due respect, Home Secretary, we're not in the House now. You know as well as I do, we started talking to the IRA in 1972. Don't quote history at me, Harry. This is entirely different, and you know it. If the Americans got whiff of this... They won't. Or the press, God forbid. It won't just be me who'd be out of a job. The whole government could fall. And I think you can guess who we take with us. We cannot afford not to explore every avenue. Oh, police. Do you know what's going on out there? Kids who played football together are now fighting in the streets. If this goes on, we could see the balkanization of Britain. And they say the government spins. You want it without spin? We cannot win the war against terrorism, ever. We can contain it, we can prevent its worst consequences, but we can never defeat it. So when we get an offer to talk, however tentative, however precarious, we take it. We have to. Total deniability, do you understand? Total. It won't float, Harry. I'm prepared to issue a statement to the effect that, in MI5's view, these men no longer pose a threat. Well, that's very big of you. But I'm the one who'd have to stand up in Parliament and read this out without being lynched. And the Americans would go ballistic. I mean, it's tantamount to saying they lied. We can't say it, Harry. I thought disengagement was number 10 policy now, drawing a line in the sand between Her Majesty's government and the White House. A line, not a bloody great chasm. If Cordad is genuine, and there's an outside chance he could be, this is a unique opportunity. You could go down in history, Home Secretary. If it ever got out that we caved into blackmail... This is a secret service. That's what Burgess said. On the other hand, if it ever got out that we could have prevented a terrorist attack yet did nothing, then history might not look so kindly on any of us. We don't have much time. 